Les informamos que las preguntas de nuestra audiencia serán recopiladas por nuestro equipo técnico y las alcanzaremos a nuestro expositor en los minutos finales. En esta oportunidad, nos complace en anunciar la presentación de Londres University y nos acompaña su representante, Miss María Lindland, a quien damos la cordial bienvenida. Tomando en cuenta que es una universidad de habla inglesa, la exposición será en ese idioma. Good morning, Miss María Lindland. Welcome to our fair. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation. You can go ahead with your full screen presentation, please. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Maria Lindblad, and I work at Lund University as an international marketing manager. And Can I, I will uh, present. Camera on, please. Camera on, please. Yes, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Go ahead. Uh, and I will present to you a little bit more information about uh, studying at Lund University. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, where is Lund University? I think that not everybody knows where we are located. And you can see the map here of uh, Scandinavia. And Lund is located within the circled area here in the southern tip of Sweden. And in this region, it is not actually only the city of Lund and the city of Malmö, which is the third largest city in Sweden, but there is actually also a capital city in this region, and that is the capital city of our neighboring country, Denmark. And that is only 40 minutes away from our campus. So in this region, you will find around 4 million inhabitants, about 14,000 researchers, 150,000 students, 17 research parks, incubators, and, and 17 higher education institutions. So this is a very um, dynamic region, focused a lot on research and innovation. And uh, there's a lot of opportunity for uh, development, for uh, further research, and of course, for job uh, prospects as well after finishing uh, your studies with us. Uh, just some quick facts about the university. Lund University is one of Northern uh, Europe's uh, oldest and largest universities. We were founded in 1666, and we have over 40,000 students uh, that are studying at Lund University at the moment. Uh, we have over 8,000 staff members, and these are spread ac across our nine faculties that represent all of our subject areas. Now we'll be getting into that a little bit more. Uh, at these faculties, we have around 270 study programs at bachelor's and master's level. And in addition to that, we also have, of course, PhD studies. And I will mention a bit more about that as well. Lund University is consistently ranked as one of the top 100 universities in the world in the major uh, world university rankings. And it is also the most popular choice for international students who want to come and study in Sweden. And we get a very high number of international applicants every year. Uh, one of the reasons for this uh, is that we have one of Scandinavia's widest ranges of courses. Uh, and we also have a very strong focus on research. So even though uh, we have as many as 40,000 students, the majority of our budget and uh, our operations actually go into the research. So it is very much a research-based university. When it comes to the education, we have around 130 different master's degree programs that are completely taught in English. And in addition to that, we also have uh, PhD studies at all departments, and that is also completely conducted in English. So there are plenty of opportunities there for international students. Uh, as I already mentioned, and as you have already understood, we are a very international university. So if you look at the uh, composition of the programs when it comes to the, the student groups, around 40% of our PhD students are international and around 60% of our master's students are international at Lund University. And I should also say that we have around 130 different nationalities on campus. So it's really a, a global environment. Uh, as I mentioned before, we are uh, very much a research university and we offer one of Scandinavia's broadest research environments and a lot of world-class research facilities. 
Uh, our research is an absolute world leading when it comes to at least 30 different research areas. And we also have excellent infrastructure for the research. Just gonna mention some examples here. So this is one of our largest uh, research facilities right now. It is called the ESS, the European Installation Source. And this is an extremely important research facility, uh, especially for uh, sciences and materials. And it is actually a shared research facility for 17 European countries. And it is currently still under construction. There are some, there is research going on already, but it will open fully in 2023. Another example is the MAX4 laboratory, the world leading synchrotron radiation laboratory. And even here, there's a lot of research related to, um, to physics, to sciences, to medicine. And this is already fully uh, operational and opened in 2016. There are also a lot of research and innovation hubs, such as the Medicon Village, for example, which is a world-class infrastructure for life science. And at the Medicon Village, there are around 150 or so different companies working on innovation and um, research within uh, the pharmaceutical and medicine and life sciences in general. So if you are interested in research, there are plenty of opportunities um, moving from master studies to PhD and beyond that as well. Now, I know that many of you who are watching this uh, are interested in PhD studies. Uh, so I will mention that quickly. Uh, all of the departments at Lund University offer PhD studies, and we have a wide range of departments. As I mentioned, we have nine faculties, so we are a fully comprehensive university. And under each faculty, there are a number of departments with different specializations. And all of these departments handle their own recruitment to PhD studies. And uh, one thing that is a little bit different in Sweden is that P studying for a PhD is actually considered to be a job in Sweden. So it's not like applying to a regular study program as such, it's actually uh, more of a job position. And you can read more about this to understand it better uh, on our website, lunduniversity.lu.se forward slash PhD. And if you want to see the PhD positions that are open currently, uh, you can go to our website, lunduniversity.lu.se forward slash vacancies. And there you can see all the job positions that are announced. Uh, and these are different research positions and also the PhD positions. Um, so like I said before, it is more of a job position where you do your research, you do some work for the department, you also take some uh, courses, of course, um, but the main focus is working on your own um, research within your PhD program. Um, we also offer uh, plenty of master's programs. We actually have around 130 international master's programs. And these are also within a wide range of subjects. And many of our programs are interdisciplinary and completely unique. You won't find the same program anywhere else. And uh, as we are a comprehensive university, again, we have programs in all subjects. So whether you are interested in business, engineering, science, humanities, social sciences, law, medicine, art, environmental studies, or something else, go to our website, uh, lunduniversity.lu.se forward slash programs and you can find the full list of all the international master's programs that we offer and on those pages on the program pages there you will be able to read more uh, under, understand what the program is about you will be able to see the entry requirements of the program how to apply to the program uh, how the selection is made what the tuition fees are and all of that. So all the information can be found on these program pages for the master's programs. And our master's programs are actually open for applications at the moment. So the international application round is ongoing. It opened in mid-October and it will close on the 17th of January in 2022. 
So if you are interested in starting your studies next year, next autumn, this is the time to apply. And all the documents are due by the 1st of February, 2022. And we do have a national application uh, process for masters in Sweden. So all the applications are made on the national portal called universityadmissions.se. So this is where you go to create an account, to select the programs that you want to apply to and to submit all your documents. And I'm not going to go into the details now because we don't have a lot of, a lot of time for that. But um, basically, most of the application can be done completely online. Um, and you would use this website to upload things like your transcript, your diploma, uh, your English test, for example, um, your proof of English, and any program specific documents as well that uh, the program that you are applying to might uh, request. So you can go to uh, our website to find the programs and then to universityadmissions.se to apply to the programs. Now, uh, one thing that we get a lot of questions about, and I know that many of you are wondering, is the, about the costs. What does it cost to study at Lund University? So I wanted to mention that specifically. And uh, this is not one price or one tuition fee for the university as a whole, but it actually varies from program to program. Um, so you would have to check on the program webpage uh, the exact tuition fee for the program that you want to apply to. Um, but basically, the range starts around uh, 100,000 Swedish crowns per year up to 210,000 Swedish crowns per year. And as a reference, this is about 11,000 uh, US dollars up to 24,000 US dollars per uh, year. And most of the masters are two years, and we do have a few one-year programs as well in management. And the tuition fees are paid one semester in advance. So if you're doing a two-year program, you would make four payments in total. When it comes to the living costs, uh, that is, of course, a little bit more up to you, how much money you actually spend for accommodation and food and other costs. But we recommend that you have around 1,000 US dollars uh, per month to cover all of these costs to, for living in Sweden. So that is a recommendation. And also, when you um, apply for your permit, your visa or your residence permit to come to Sweden, there will also be a requirement by the migration agency that you have the funding to support yourself in, in Sweden. So if you need some help with this funding, there are a few uh, sources of funding that I would like to recommend as well. Uh, Lund University actually has the most extensive scholarship program in Sweden called the Lund University Global Scholarship. And after you have made an application to one of our masters, you can apply uh, for the Lund University Global Scholarship. This is a merit-based and a selective scholarship, so not everybody will be awarded a scholarship, but everybody is very welcome to apply. Uh, and it can cover uh, partial tuition fees up to as much as 90% of the tuition fees, but it does not cover any living costs. So it's important to still make sure that you have the funding for that. In addition, there is another uh, scholarship option for students who are from Peru specifically, uh, and that is the Swedish Institute Scholarship for Global Professionals. This is a national scholarship in Sweden that is open only to, to citizens of specific countries, but Peru is one of those countries. And they have some different requirements for their scholarship. You need to have some work experience and, and some other documentation when you apply for that. But if you meet these requirements, you're of course very welcome to also apply for that scholarship. And um, that is actually a full scholarship. So it's of course very selective and very popular as well. But there's, um, there's no limit in terms of applying for as many funding options as possible. So you can definitely apply for both of these options if you are looking for funding. Uh, both of them will open for applications in February. So that is after the application for studies. So the, the main thing right now is to first make a full application to the program that you want to study. And after that, you have the opportunity to also apply for, for a scholarship to help um, cover the cost of that program. 
So I hope uh, this got you a little bit more curious about Lund University. Um, this is only a brief presentation, so I just wanted to give a quick overview here. Uh, you can, of course, visit our website to explore a little bit more. And I also want to say that we have many upcoming virtual events. So if you want to join any of our webinars that are uh, longer, where we answer questions and, and uh, present the application steps, you're very welcome to, um, to join one of those as well. So we hope to see you in Lund in the future. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Lynn Van Lu, you really appreciate all the information you're providing us, uh, which will be very useful for career professionals interested in studying at the university. We have three questions. Yeah. Uh, what are the minimum requirements for engineering masters? Uh, well, if you mean a, uh, a master's of engineering, then the, 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 requ the general requirement is, of course, that you have a bachelor's in engineering. Uh, and other than that, the requirements are specific to each program. So there might be a specialization where you need specific credits in a, in a previous subject that is related to the master's. Um, but that's something that is specific to each of the engineering programs. So they would have to check that but the general requirements is to have a bachelor's of engineering and to have the minimum level of english which is uh, if we're talking tests it's ielts 6.5 or toefl 90. somebody asked can i say in sweden after graduation uh yes there are plenty of opportunities to to stay in sweden if you want to find a job in sweden we do recommend of course starting to look for that before graduation and if you get a job, then you can easily um, transfer the study permit to a work permit in Sweden. Uh, but there's also an opportunity, even if you don't have a job by the time you graduate, you can extend the residence permit uh, for one more year to look for work in, in Sweden. And again, once you find a job, you apply for a work permit and then you can stay as long as you have that job. Uh, finally, does Land University has its own scholarships? Yes, so it was the scholarship that I mentioned called the Lund University Global Scholarship. So that is the main one uh, for all international students coming to Lund and they can all apply for that. Great. Once again, Maria, thank you so much for your kind participation. Thank and you we so really much. look forward to having you at the next fair. I hope so. I will definitely be there. <laughs> great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great thank day. You. Thank you, you too.